in the following a verbal altercation, Benjamin Rob, 11, struck our son Henry Novick in the face. This action resulted in, apart from swelling of the upper lip, the breaking of two incisors, including injury to the nerve of the right incisor. Armed? Armed? You don't like armed? Well, what should we say, Michael? Furnished, equipped, um, furnished with a stick. Is that all right? Furnished, yes. Furnished with a stick. You know what sounds good? Are you sure you don't want to Oh, I'm good under the weather, but we should really get this going. Furnished. Anyway, thank you for coming. There's nothing to gain from getting stuck on some emotional cul de sac. We should be thanking you. We should. Well, I don't see that any things are necessary. Fortunately, there is still such a thing as zero coexistence, isn't there? Which the children don't appear to have mastered. At least not ours. Yes, not ours. What's going to happen to the tooth with the affected nerve? Well, we don't know yet. They're being careful about the prognosis. Apparently the nerve hasn't been totally exposed. Only a little bit of it's been exposed. <laughs> yes, some of it's been exposed, and some of it's still covered. That's why they decided not to kill the nerve just yet. They're trying to give the tooth a chance. So there'll be an interim period where they give the nerve a chance to recover. In the meantime, they'll be giving him a ceramic crown. Oh, whatever happens, you can't have implants before you're 18. Nope. Permanent implants can't be fitted until after you finish growing. Of course. I, uh, I hope it all works out. Yes, I hope so. Those tulips are gorgeous. Oh, they're from the little Korean deli up on Smith Street. Wow. You know the one at the end? Oh, yes. Uh, they come every morning direct from Holland, just $40 for a bunch of 50. Really? You know the one at the end. Oh, yes. You know, we didn't want to identify Benjamin. No, we didn't. Impressive sight, my child. Face bashed in, teeth missing, still refusing to talk. I can imagine. You know, he also didn't want to identify Benjamin in fear of being called tattletale from his friends. You've got to be honest, Veronica. It's nothing more than bravado. Of course, but bravado is a kind of courage, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> so then how did you get Benjamin's name? Well, we explained to Henry that he wasn't helping this child by shielding them. You know, we said that if this child thinks that he can keep hitting people with impunity, then why should he stop? We said, if we were this kid's parents, we would definitely want to be told. Absolutely. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, yes, Murray. Thanks for calling back. Right. In today's times. Let me read it to you. According to a paper published in The Lancet, taken up yesterday in the Financial Times, two Australian researchers have revealed the neurological side effects of painkillers, a hypertensive beta blocker manufactured in various pharma laboratories. The side effects vary from hearing loss to ataxia. Then, who the hell is your media watchdog? Yes, it is very glad to mention you. Do you have. No, what's most inconvenient about it, as far as I'm concerned, is the annual shareholders meetings in two weeks. You have insurance contingency to cover litigation? Okay. Oh, hey, Murray. Murray, get your PR girl and find out if the story shows up anywhere else. And call me back. So, you're a boy. Uh, what about you? <laughs> oh, I have a wholesale company, a household goods. Frank is a writer who works time, part time in an art history bookshop. A writer? I contribute to a collection on the civilization of Shiva, uh, based on the excavations that were restarted in the Ethiopian and Eritrean War. And uh, I have a book coming out in January on the Darfur Journey. So you specialize in Africa? Well, I'm very interested in that part of the world, yes. Do you have any other children? Henry has a nine year old sister, Camille, who is furious at her father because last night he got rid of the hamster. You got rid of the hamster? Yeah, the thing makes the most god awful racket all night, and then spends the whole day fast asleep. <laughs> it, um, you know, Henry was in a lot of pain last night. Uh, he was just being driven crazy by the sound of that hamster, and to tell you the truth, so was I. So uh, I said to myself, all right, that's it. And I put it on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're not domestic animals, they're not wild animals, so I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. The natural habitat <laughs> <laughs> you 
you left it outside. He left it there and then tried to convince Camille that it had run away, but uh, he wasn't having it. Was the hamster gone this morning? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> They don't need to be coached. Let them do it man to man. Oh, well, if uh, Benjamin's forced to be Henry in a punitive context, I can't say that the results would be very positive. Matt, our son is a savage. <laughs> to hope for any kind of spontaneous repentance would be fanciful. Right. I'm sorry. I have to get back to the office. You say that, you'll tell me what you decided. I know you switched over what you tried. <laughs> Women always think you need a man, you need a father. As if they'd be any help at all. <laughs> <laughs> better. Better. Dead weight, they're clumsy and maladjusted. Oh, you can oh. see the F train. That's great. Well, I'm, I'm so embarrassed, but um, I can't say either. My husband's never been a stroller dad. <laughs> but it's pretty. I mean, it's lovely taking the baby out for a walk. It lasts such a short time. You always love to compare the children to you, Michael. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, what have we decided? Could you come by the house with Henry about 7.30? Um, 7.30. What do you think, Michael? Well, honestly. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I think Benjamin ought to come here. Yes, I agree. I don't think it's right for the victim to go tracing anywhere else. I, it's right. Personally, I can't be anywhere at 7.30. Well, since you're no use, we won't be needing you. Mm -hmm. All the same, it'd be better if his father were there. All right, they can't be this evening. Uh, tomorrow? I'm flying to The Hague tomorrow. You're working in The Hague. I have a case at the International Criminal the Court. The main thing is that the children speak to one another. I'll bring Benjamin here about 7.30, and we can leave and have a discussion. No? You don't look very convinced. Well, if Benjamin's not made aware of his responsibilities, then we'll just stare at each other like a pair of tiny dogs. It'll be a catastrophe. What do you mean? What do you mean made aware of his responsibilities? I'm sure your son is not a savage. Of course Benjamin isn't a savage. Yes, he is. Savage? Sir, don't say something like that. He's a savage. How, how does he explain this behavior? He doesn't want to discuss it, but he ought to discuss it. He ought to do a lot of things. He ought to come here. He ought to discuss it. He ought to be sorry for it. Clearly, you have parenting skills that put us to shame. We'll try to improve, but in the meantime, please bear with us. Oh, come on. <laughs> 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 that's, 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 that's all right. Let's just sit down for another couple of minutes. A little coffee? Coffee? Okay. Yeah. I'll have one too. That's all right. I'll do it. I see you're a great art lover. Oh, yes, uh, art photographs. I mean, to some extent, it's my job. I adore Francis Bacon. Oh, they do. <laughs> Cruelty, majesty, chaos, and balance. That's right. Is Benjamin interested in any art? No, oh, not as much as he should be. <laughs> what about your children? Oh, we try. We try to fill gaps in the education system. Yes. Um, we try to make them read. We take them to concerts and exhibits. Uh, we're eccentric enough to believe in the soothing power of culture. And you're right. I was wondering, um, not that it's important, but what does it like? I mean, Henry won't say a single word about it. Henry refused to let Benjamin join his gang. Uh, Henry has a gang? <laughs> he also called Benjamin a snitch. Uh, did you know Henry had a gang? Oh, it's terrific. <laughs> 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 because I had a gang. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like five or six guys uh, follow you around, ready to sacrifice themselves. <laughs> like in Spartacus. Absolutely. <laughs> like in Spartacus. Who does it Spartacus these days? They use a different one. <laughs> anyway, clearly you know more than we do. Benjamin hasn't been as silent as you imply. And do we know why Henry got called a snitch? I, I'm sorry, stupid. That's a stupid question. And first of all, I couldn't care less. And second of all, it's beside the point. You know, we can't get involved in children's quarrels. And it's none of our business. No. On the other hand, um, what is our business is what unfortunately happens. The, the <laughs> violence. That's our business. 
to, to be the head of my gang when I was 12, I had to pass <laughs> uh, Bobby Kopecky. It was bigger than I was, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, the hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, the what, what are you talking about? Got nothing to do with it. I mean, <laughs> With Bobby and I, you know, we agreed to have a fight. So you should beat the crap out of him. Oh, to a point. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Would you allow me to speak to Benjamin? By all means. I wouldn't want to do it by commission. No, no. Speak to him. What could be more natural? What? <laughs> Stop it, Alan. I don't understand you. This is no pet. Uh, Veronica, we don't have to be so formal. Uh, Veronica, you're motivated by an educational impulse, which is very sympathetic. If you don't want me to speak to Benjamin, then I won't. No, speak to him. Read in the right act. Do what you like. You know, I don't understand why you have to care about this. Man. Veronica. Of course I care, Veronica. Enormously. My son has injured another child. On purpose. See, that's the kind of remark that gets my back up. Obviously on purpose. But that is what makes all the difference. The difference between what and what? That's what we're talking about. My son picked up a stick and hit your son. That's why we're here, isn't it? This is pointless. Nah, yeah, she's right. This, this kind of argument is pointless. Well, why do you always feel the need to slide in on purpose? What kind of message is that supposed to be sending? <laughs> Listen, we're on a slippery slope here. My husband's desperate about all kinds of other things. I'll come back this evening with Benjamin and he can let things work themselves out naturally. I'm not the least bit desperate. Well, I am. Hey, hey, well, there's nothing to be desperate about. Yes, there is. <laughs> uh, don't make any statements. No comment. No, of course you can't take it off the market. Once it's off the market, you become responsible. The minute Antro is taken off the market, you are admitting liability. Uh, last year on the There's nothing in the annual accounts. <laughs> if you want to be sued for falsifying the executive reports and get screwed in two weeks, then take it off the market. Uh, last year on Parents' Day, wasn't it Benjamin? <laughs> Who's in that play? Charlie Vine. Charlie Vine, yeah. We'll worry about the victims later, Murray. Let's see what the sheriff do after the annual meeting. He was extraordinary. Yes. We're not going to take Angel off the market just because two or three people are bumping into the furniture. <laughs> I remember him very clearly in Charlie's Vine. He was hilarious when he was in drag. <laughs> <laughs> They're panicking. They've got the media up their ass. You need to prepare a press release. Nothing defensive, not at all. On the contrary, go out all guns blazing. You insist that Baron Sparma is the victim of a destabilization attempt two weeks before its annual meeting. Where did this story come from? Why did it fall out of the sky so suddenly? Etc. and so on. Don't mention anything about health problems. Just ask one question. Who's behind the report? Right. Very terrible, those pharmaceutical companies. <laughs> profit, profit, profit. You're not supposed to be listening to my conversation. Yeah, well, you're not obliged to have it in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely obliged to have it here. Not my choice, believe me. <laughs> they think they can dump any old crap on you without giving a second thought. In a therapeutic field, every advance brings with it risk as well as benefit. I understand. All the same. Funny job you have. Meaning? What's this having to do with that? Well, just funny job. And what is it you do? I told you, I have an ordinary job. What is an ordinary job? I sell frying pans. <laughs> Doorknobs? Yeah, toilet fittings. Clock book stuff. Ah, toilet fittings. Now we're talking. That's really interesting. <laughs> Boy, I'm interested in toilet fittings. Oh, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> How many types are there? Two types. You got your gravity and your pressure resistance. I see. And depending on the feet. Well, of course. You either want to go up from above or down from below. Yes. You know, I can introduce you to my stock manager who specializes in that kind of thing if you like. You have to leg it up just a cocky slipper. You seem to be very on top of the subject. Uh, are you intending to punish Benjamin anyway? I think he's carrying on a pretty funny conversation would be more appropriate to him. I'm not feeling well. Uh, what's the matter? Yes, you're very pale, sweetheart. You're a little pale, certainly. I feel nauseous. Uh, nauseous? I have some kept abysmal. No, no, it'll be all right. Um, can we... A coat, a coat's very helpful. No, it'll be all... Uh, walk around a little, take a few steps. Thank <laughs> you.
Yeah, hopefully pushing you with the toilet systems. <laughs> yes, good answer, don't you think? Uh, really, that stock manager thing? Oh, really An asshole. And what do you call her? Wolf Wolf. Yeah, that's right. Wolf Wolf. <laughs> wolf Wolf. That's, that's right. I call her Wolf Wolf. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. It's so easy to make fun of other people's nicknames, and uh, what do we call each other, Michael? Far worse, isn't it? Or the hair dryer. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Oh, we call each other um, Darjeeling, like, like the tea. Ridiculous. <laughs> How's the poor thing feeling? Better. I just, I reacted very badly. I'm ashamed of myself. No. I mean, I just steamrolled throughout my catalog. I, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Pushes over the edge. I want Michael. That's enough. 
Let's stop being unbush. If all we are is modern on the surface, well then let's forget it. No. No, I refuse to allow myself to slide down that slope. Yeah. What slope? The slope that these two little bastards have purchased on the Okay, there. I said.
Not at all. You did it for civilization. That's to your credit. Exactly. I'm standing up for civilization, and thank God that there are people out there who are prepared to do that. Do you think it's a better idea to be a goddamn Neanderthal? No one's saying that, Veronica. No one's criticizing you. Yes, they are! No, they're not. Oh, God. What are we supposed to do? Sue you? Try to slaughter each other with insurance claims? You stop it for me. Stop what? You pull it down and him! Shut up! Shut up! You force yourself to rise above petty mindedness and, and you have to humiliate it completely on your own. We're always in Rome. Everywhere. Who wants from? <laughs> Darfur, 
Fine, I can see you saying to yourself, I'm going to pick a massacre. What else does history consist of? And I'm going to write about it. You do what you can to save yourself. I'm not writing a book to save myself. You haven't read it, you don't know what it's about. It makes no difference. <sighs> Terrible stick of course. Terrible. You certainly laid it on. I'm sorry. <laughs> not your fault. I was the one who sprang like a lunatic. God, why, why do we take things, can't we take things more lightly? Why does everything have to be so exhausting? You think too much. Women think too much. There is an original <laughs> part, and that one's known you for a loop. Think too much. I don't know what that means. See what I have to live with? God, shut up. Please, shut up. <laughs> I just had some pathetic complicity. God, you're disgusting, Michael. I have a sense of humor. I don't have a sense of humor, and I have no intention of acquiring one. What I always say is marriage. The worst ordeal God can inflict upon you. Right. <laughs> marriage with children. You're not just sharing your views with us, Michael. As a matter of fact, I find it slightly indecent. That's not going to stop. What, you don't agree? <laughs> These observations are beside the point. Alan sees something. He's entitled to his opinions. Yes, but he doesn't have to broadcast them. Well, perhaps. We don't give a damn about their marriage. We're here to settle a problem that has to do with our children. We don't give a damn about their marriage. Yes, but... But what? What are you trying to say? There's a connection. Yeah, there's a connection. Of course there's a connection. Excuse me, there's a connection between Henry having his teeth broken and our marriage? Yeah, obviously. We don't get it. <laughs> children consume our lives and then destroy them. <laughs> it, it, it's it dragging into disaster. It's unavoidable. If you see those young couples casting off the sea of matrimony, you think to yourself, they have no idea. They're, 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 they're happy. They just have no idea. I, no one tells me anything in the beginning. I got this old school buddy who's going to have a kid with his new girlfriend. I'm thinking, a kid? At our age? Are you, are you crazy? I mean, you got to get 10 or 12 years left before you get cancer or stroke and you're going to ruin some brat? You don't really believe what you're saying. Yeah, you're, you're worse even. You're demeaning yourself, Michael. Oh, is that right? <laughs> oh, hold yourself up, yourself, exception to listen to me. Exception. Put out a cigar. No, no cigars. Too bad. You're not intending to smoke a cigar, Alan. I do what I like in that. If I feel like accepting a cigar, I'll accept a cigar. And if I'm not smoking it, it's because I don't want to upset Veronica, who's already completely lost it. <laughs> <laughs> She's right. Stop sniveling. When a woman cries, a man is provoked to the worst of excesses. <laughs> in which Michael's point of view, I'm sorry to say, is completely sound. <laughs> yes? Sir. Sir, you are to the date and the exact time. This is obscene. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course. No. This goes on from morning to night. From morning to night, he's glued to that cell phone. That cell makes Minsky of our lives. Uh, wait one minute. This is very important. It's always very important. Anything happening anywhere else is always more important. In the street, at dinner, he doesn't care where. Put the word paper in quotes. Put up. the word paper in quotes. Total surrender. What a broken schedule. Oh, where's the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to quote me. This is obviously just a, an attempt to manipulate share prices. There it is. Wrong. It's all right. We're fully equipped. <laughs> <laughs> the shares to undermine my client, confer with Alan Raleigh, head counsel for Baron's Farm of that farm. Baron's Pharma. Uh, she wants to throw her in there. <laughs> General Press, Medical Press, the whole nine yards. What's the matter with you? I'm touched by your concern. It's bothering me. I am sorry. I must have misunderstood. Annette, let's not do this. Just because they're fighting, just because their marriage is unstable, does not mean we have to compete. What right do you have to say our marriage is unstable? Who gave you permission? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take our regrettable. Crude. A crude attempt. That's it. I forbid you to stand in judgment over our relationship. Then don't stand in judgment over my son. What's that got to do with your son and your ours? They're kids. 
all kids have had their fair share of beatings in, in, during recess. It's the law of life. No, no it isn't. Yes, it is. A child has to go through a sort of apprenticeship before right overcomes wrong. Obviously, like, might comes before right. Well, possibly prehistoric times, but not in our society. Our society? Explain our society. You're exhausting me. These conversations are exhausting. Listen, Veronica. I believe in the god of carnage. He has ruled uninterruptedly since the dawn of time. You're interested in Africa, aren't you? No. <laughs> Feeling bad? Don't worry about me. I am worried. Everything's fine. As a matter of fact, I just came back from the Congo. Over there, kids, when they're eight years old, are learned to kill. During their childhood, they may have killed hundreds of people with a machete, with a collage, with a thump gun. So you must understand that when my child picks up a bamboo rod and hits his playmate and breaks a tooth, or even two, I'm less susceptible to horror and indignation than you are. You're wrong. <laughs> That's what they call a grenade launcher. Are you all right? Perfectly. Don't you lecture me about Africa. I know all about Africa's garden. I've been steeped in it for months. I'm sure you have. Did you know the ICC has already conducted an inquiry on Dark Hill? You think I didn't know that? Oh, don't care. Sorry, for God's sake. Ah, ah, that's so sick of you, Michael. Oh. You know what? I'm starting to like you. What? I love you. <laughs> yeah, she's a border piece of civility in the world. We're living in America. We're not living in Kinshasa. We're living in America based on the principles of Western society. And what goes on in Kuala Lumpur reflects those values. Yeah, beating up with your husband. That's one of those principles, isn't it? I'm going to dad you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs>
I too have a John Wayne-ish idea of virility and what was it he had? Colt 45, a device for creating a vacuum. A man who can't give the impression that he can be alone has no substance. So Michael, are you happy? It's somewhat fractured our little, what was it you said? Forgot the word, but in the end, everyone's feeling more or less all right, if you ask me. I should probably warn you, Realm drives me crazy. I've <laughs> never felt more normal. Yeah, right. I'm starting to feel pleasantly serene. Huh, this is bad idea. <laughs> Rather pleasantly serene. It's <laughs> you, Roger. For you, there's something good to be gained about being publicly smashed. Kiss my ass. Oh. <laughs> now, take one. Relax. <laughs> No, those are cars. You don't smoke in a house that has an asthmatic child. Who's asthmatic? Our son. Same kind of women. 
committed, self-serving. That's not what we like about women. What we like about women is sensuality, hormones. A woman that creates a song and dance, that dances to, to intuition and is the custodian of the world, they depress us. Look at your husband, Michael. He's depressed. Don't speak for me. <laughs> <laughs> who cares what you think about women? A, a man like you, who can begin to give a damn about your opinion? She's yelling. She's yelling like a stuck pig. Well, what about her? Oh, Doesn't she yell? She said her son did well in cloud hours. He did do well. He seems like a silly little baggage. Well, why not snitch? <laughs> stuffing his face as we speak. No.